Hi, you guys. Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer here at The Lifestyle Co. And you caught me again, just you and me and my tripod at my house, answering some of the requests that we've gotten over the years as we've been on YouTube and Instagram. If you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Instagram, I'm super active. I respond to all of my own DMs. My personal handle is at Kristen Forgione, and our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. So we get so many requests all the time for teach me how to do X, show me how to do Y. I want to style my bedroom or make my bed like a professional designer. So today I have a super quick video for you teaching you how I make my bed using one of my absolute favorite bedding brands, Bowl and Branch. So when I started thinking about this video, I was thinking maybe I'd do a summer bedding video so you could get some inspiration for your summer bedding. But then I thought all amazing beds have a few things in common. Number one, incredible sheets, right? Period, end of story. Have to start with incredible sheets. Also, um, super fluffy, voluminous duvet moment and duvet cover. So then I thought, you know what? Maybe I should do a video just kind of about capsule bedding. So the things that all great beds have in common, kind of like ca a capsule wardrobe would be, right? All the pieces that you need that you can mix and match and kind of change out if you need to. Start with a really great foundation, like a big oversized um, black blazer, right? So the same is true for your home pieces, for your bedding, for your linens, your upholstery, all that stuff. It's really important to start with a few major foundational moments. So this is where Bull & Branch comes in. Bull & Branch has pioneered the organic bedding world, if you will. They were the first to be fair trade certified. Um, Bull & Branch sheets are not just about thread count, which is a huge misconception in kind of the bedding and linen industry. It's about the quality of the thread. So there's so much to love about Bull & Branch and I have an offer for you too. One of the other things that you should always know about their product is they get better with every single wash. I have had Bull & Branch on my bed for over five years. It is the only sheet company that I use. We also love to place Bull & Branch product in our client homes if they have the budget for it. It's a luxury item, but worth every single penny. And like I said, gets better with every wash. So this is their signature hemmed sheet set right out of the beautiful gift ready packaging. I've also got their duvet cover and their waffle blanket. So before I show you what this is gonna look like on my bed and specifically how I make my bedding look effortless and easy, um, I have to wash all of these first. So I'm gonna put them in the washing machine and dry and then I'll come back. Okay, I just took everything out of the dryer. Everything has been freshly washed and 100% accurate. It all gets better with a washing and a drying and continues to do so. So I've started with my fitted sheet here on the bed. I got the Signature Delicate Stripe sheet set, which I absolutely love. I don't know how, how well you can see that here on video, but the colorway is white and mineral. And I love that it's just like this very delicate, um, kind of Euro inspired. Like I picture this like hanging on a laundry line like with the European breeze coming through. Um, I have a Europe trip planned this summer so you can see where my mind is already at. And um, I'm adding some fresh roses onto my nightstand when I'm done with this whole stitch. So that's kind of what I was going for in um, kind of a, a design scheme, if you will, for this little bedding switcheroo. So um, I also have a, trip, a tip for you. If you want your bedding to smell like the greatest bedding and just smell, like what I picture heaven smelling, smelling like, the Laundress Le Labo laundry detergent is the best. I received it as a gift from one of my friends years ago um, and I just absolutely love it. So I've washed all of my Bola Branch bedding with this. I love it. I'll link it in the description along with everything else. So the fitted sheet is on. Next I'm going to put on the flat sheet and then I like to also place my pillows with pillowcases on at this time too. Simply because I like to see how much room they take up, what the volume looks like. At the Lifestyle Co, we make a lot of beds. We make them a lot of different ways. And depending on what kind of look we're going for, for the aesthetic of the home and the finished product, is kind of how we determine how voluminous with the bedding we go, or if we want to go really minimal and simple. Um, so I think the bed pillows kind of help with that. So I'm gonna do that next. I'm going simpler with my look, which I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. If I'm going simpler with my bedding look, I tend to place my bed pillows like up like this, kind of leaned. 
If I'm going more, more voluminous, I tend to place them down and I do two on top of each other. Why? I don't know. I just feel like I like to kind of see the casualness of the pillowcase versus when they're down and stacked. They tend to look a little bit cleaner, which for me in a more voluminous bed allows the throw pillows to do a little bit more talking. So in this case, I actually want to see the bedding, right? I'm trying to show you the capsule pieces that I selected from Bowl & Branch and I want to see how that looks. So I'm also using two different types of sheets, or I should say um, styles. So I already told you I went with the white and mineral on the delicate sheet set and then I also ordered just a plain white of their signature hemmed sheet set. They are the best sheets on the planet, you guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Make sure you check the description for a very special offer. Um, the best of the season from Bowl and Branch. It's linked right there for you so you can get your hands on these super luxurious sheets. But um, they really are the best. So I like to play with one solid and one stripe if I'm going for a stripe moment. Okay, when you're creating capsule bedding, look, it kind of matches my, my shirt. Um, it's also really a good idea to get a complementing or contrasting color. So if I went with the white, I also love the idea of picking up oak. So that's this color. It will do you so well throughout the seasons. Definitely a summer tone, can definitely carry into the fall if you want a little bit more moody bedding. So in creating your, your capsule bedding, it's great to get a light sheet set, always white, and then also something that provides a little bit of a contrast. So you can see my bed is beautifully made. I've got two king size pillows, one for each. Standard bed pillows do not belong on king beds. I'll just leave you with that. I could go on a whole rant. I probably have a separate video as to what a pef heave of mine it is to see standard pillows on king beds. Unless you have some neck or back issue, I guess if you're comfortable, doesn't matter. Who am I to tell you what to do? But uh, from an aesthetic place only, I want to see king bed pillows on king beds and standard bed pillows on everything else. Next layer for capsule bedding. Some sort of waffle blanket, coverlet, um, linen throw, something that can go between your sheets and your duvet. Normally, I will say I have made plenty of beds where I've done the duvet directly over the sheet set and then added a waffle blanket or a linen throw or vintage textile or something like that over as a footer. You can also do that. I feel like that tends to look a little bit more casual where in this um, aesthetic, I'm kind of going for something a little bit more traditional. I really want to see the bedding. So I'm keeping it simple in using this waffle blanket. This is the natural waffle blanket from Bull & Branch. It's a King California King size, which I love. So it's got plenty of size to cover this entire bed. Okay, I leave my bed blanket, we'll call it, pulled over my pillows until I'm further along. So the next step for me is gonna be stuffing my duvet insert into my cover. Then I'm kinda of gonna play with how that looks at the foot. And then I'm gonna go back to where my pillows are and decide what throw pillows I'm adding, put some finishing touches on and all that jazz. Duvet time. There are probably thousands of videos on YouTube with like some really genius designer hack, or maybe it's not even a designer, just hack as to how to stuff your duvet cover. I am not one of those people. I don't know why I do it the old fashioned way. You guys, technical difficulties. This is what happens when I don't have my team with me to check all my things and remind me. I forgot to put my mic back on after I took it off to wash everything in the sheets um, and my earrings falling out. I'm a mess today, but I'm a real person, so maybe you can relate. Um, hopefully the sound sounds better now because now my mic's back on. So back to what I love about Bowl & Branch. This um, duvet cover, their, their duvet covers have a zipper, so you don't have to button 65 buttons at the, at the foot of the duvet. You also, with the um, Bowl & Branch duvet cover, each corner has ties, which are paramount to keeping your insert in the cover. Cheap duvet covers don't have any of this. So, I mean, I think that's a huge difference other than all the other value adds. I've so I don't have any crazy trick for you. I literally set it all out corner to corner, just like you would anything logical. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my duvet insert and I basically also do the same thing, take the upper two corners and I shove it in tie, tie, and then work my way to the base. So I'm going to do that here in a second. I also wanna tell you, if you want that gushy, voluminous duvet look, hotel look that you, you see often, you're going to want to double stuff your duvet cover. 
So that means think of a double stuffed Oreo. That means you're going to put two, two of the exact same size King duvet inserts into the cover. That's going to give you all that weight, all that volume. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm a sweater. I'm going to be hot. If you sleep with your duvet cover on, yes, you will be hot because you have two layers. You could also go for an all seasons duvet insert. We'll link some here in the description for you so that they're a little bit lighter weight. Um, and also, did you know that King inserts come in different sizes? So you really want to pay attention to what size the duvet cover is that you're purchasing and get the appropriate size insert. There's about six inches of leeway. So that's about that much. So there's plenty of times that you'll just buy a King insert and a King cover and think that they're going to fit. And they can definitely have a better fit if you're checking the dimensions and making sure that the King insert and the King cover are the same. So we'll link that all in the description for you and list it out just because um, it can get confusing, right? So try to help you out there. I am not going for that super voluminous look in this bed. I'm trying to go for a little bit more simple, a little bit more Euro. So I'm only gonna stuff one insert in here, but don't forget that trick. Okay, I just finished stuffing the insert into the cover. And I made a lot of beds at the Lifestyle Co. in the last 10 years. And if you wanna see more of our design work and kind of how we style beds at different aesthetics, Go to our design portfolio on our website, www.thelifestyleco.com. Um, it's also linked in the description and you can see more of some of our beautiful beds. So in this case, I'm kind of doing a little bit of like a modified trifold. I'm tucking the base. The idea is for summer bedding or even capsule bedding. I want to be able to get in and easily pull my duvet over and not have to like mess with it too much. So I intentionally like it a little bit messy. I like it to look simple. We're gonna kind of put the finishing touches on now. I like each side of my bed to hang over the same amount. Then I'm kind of gonna fold this waffle blanket back so that you just get a little peak of waffle blanket and a little peak of sheets. So I actually prefer it a little bit thinner than halfway. So we got a little bit more volume. And then remember your sheets right here. So you can kind of pull that forward. Ooh, it's looking so fresh. If you could smell this mm, and feel the quality of this linen, you would, and by linen, I mean linens, like bedding linen, um, you would just die. Okay, so you can see how everything plays together so beautifully. It's nice and simple. Um, I'm going to add some throw pillows on next. These are 26 by 26. They are cream boucle. They're from the Lifestyle Co. as well. I absolutely love them. We will also link them in the, in the description. I love that they are all season. So definitely a good add if you're going for capsule bedding. And I really thought I'd be into boucle in the summer, but I am because it gives so much texture. So not too much boucle and certainly not with any fur, um, but it definitely works. And I actually think I'm just gonna do two today. I tend to usually do three. Let me see, is that even centered for you guys? And then I've also got a lumbar in the exact same textile and fabric. So I'm keeping it simple, keeping everything nice and cohesive, intentionally not choosing to have any contrast um, in like a dark color or to change the selection on the pillow. And there she is, right? It's just so crisp, so clean, perfect capsule bedding situation. You guys, these are fresh from mm, my garden outside. So remember, I was planning this. I was trying to go as simple as I could with the bedding, nice and classic, clean, so that when I put these in, they really kind of stole the show. So fresh flowers, always will take it up a notch. I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit. So everything kind of works and plays together. Oh my gosh, it smells just incredible. Biggest thank you to Bull & Branch for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys liked the quick version of how to create capsule bedding. Um, I'll link everything in the description. If you want to see more beds, I created three different specific styles of bed making, not this one, in, or, in our Organic Desert Learning online learning platform. We'll link it all in the description. It is so easy, self-directed. It's basically you and me just like this teaching you how to make three of our most requested and most famous bedding styles. So we'll link that as well. Again, thank you so much to Bull & Branch. Make sure you check out the offer code 
in the description. It's the best um, deal of the season if you want to really get into some luxurious sheets with Bull & Branch. I'll catch you in the next one.